namaste one and all so um, I decided to put together a very simple meditation that's gonna last I don't know maybe five minutes or so um, uh, because in these times it's really important that we meditate and uh, for those of you who feel that meditation is something complicated, it's not. It's easy and it can be done. You don't need to sit in a cave somewhere in the Himalayas and, and, and contemplate God 24 hours a day. That that's, can be, right, but that's not necessary. To get the benefits out of meditation, you really only need to uh, practice for a short period of time per day. And of course, the more the merrier, but... Uh, you know, five minutes a day will, will give you um, a profound experience and uh, an experience that has the power to tra change your life. It's something did mine. And so um, the healing is done when we're able to switch on our parasympathetic nervous system and stop worrying and stressing about, about things that may never happen. Um, Nobody really knows what the future holds, regardless of whether there's a crisis or not. They still don't know what the future holds. So um, I think that it's, it's it, as I say, I, I believe that we should all do this and, and, um, and find some unity and some peace within ourselves. So I'm going to basically just run through a really very, very simple a breathing technique meditation initially, and I'll put some more uh, up on the uh, tube for you guys to, to uh, work through and appreciate. Um, but if we go start fundamentally with the first uh, of these, which is a breathing meditation. Meditation is fundamentally just uh, finding some way of staying within the moment uh, within yourself. And uh, the breath is always available to us until well, it isn't, <laughs> uh, which means we're dead. So, um, so that's it. Right, so all I want you to do is basically, you can do this lying down. And people say, oh, you can't do meditation lying down. Yes, you can. You know, if you feel that you're sore or whatever and you want to lie down, that's fine. Uh, there is reasons for us to do it sitting up. Uh, it's less likely for you to swat, fall asleep. I wouldn't suggest you did it in your bed, for instance. That, that's conducive with sleep. But sitting down on a, on a comfortable chair right there whereby your back is straight is is per perfectly acceptable if you want to sit in lotus position that's acceptable too so but the main feature that we want to uh, establish is uh, straightness in the spine there's a number of reasons for that but we'll not get involved with them just yet maybe somewhere down the, in the down the track we will all right so once you once you've got yourself nice and comfortable in that particular uh, situation um, then all you have to do is close the eyes now what we're going to do with this you keep your eyes closed I'm, I'm going to guide the meditation so all I want you to do now is basically just start to come to the breath what do I mean by that I just want you to focus on the breath notice the breath moving in and out of the body Notice the belly rising and the belly falling. Belly rise and belly fall. Belly rise and belly fall. Notice the feeling of the clothes on the skin as the belly rises. And as the belly falls, noticing the breath moving in and out of the nostrils, the sensation within the nostrils. Feeling the breath moving in and out of the nostril. Cool on the way in and warm on the way out. Now 
No, we just want to watch the breath. In other words, become the witness of the breath. This is important in meditation whereby we actually become the seer or the witnesser of the situation. Now the thoughts will come and go, but that's fine. Allow them to just come and go. Don't try and stop them, just allow the thoughts to come and go. And if you do happen to get involved in a thought, then that's fine, just drop the involvement and come back to the breath. And that is fundamentally the practice of meditation. Notice the wording I use, practice. It will always be a practice. Buddhist monks are practicing meditation. Following the breath in and out, being the witness, watching the body breathing. Allow the breath to become very shallow now. As you start to get deeper with it. Much deeper now. Just the breath, nothing but the breath. Thoughts will come and go. They do not define us. Let them go. In and out. Notice at the end of your next exhalation, the pause. On the next one, just allow the pause to develop, but don't force anything, just let it be. And then on the next one, see if you can just fall into the pause. Very deep now. One with everything. Okay, slowly let that go. And then start to breathe the body. So in other words, you can take control over the breath now, no longer the witness. Now coming into the pranic body. Breathe in the body. Good. Good. Starting to come back to this level. And that's it. Open the eyes. That's it. <laughs> How simple can that be? How can something so simple be so powerful and so profound? And it may not feel like that initially when you start, um, but believe me, if you keep practicing, you will get a much deeper, clearer, better understanding of yourself, a deeper, clearer understanding of situations. You'll be able to uh, let, the, let the heart rate come down, there's so many benefits, it's difficult to put them all down here. Yeah. So, um, thank you for meditating with me. I'll put a number of these up to uh, for people at this time, very important at this point in time. Namaste.